When you want to create a simple walk cycle, then you just need to define two separate poses. The first pose defines the contact point, that is, when the feet are placed at their maximum distance. Then we have the passing point, where the legs are closest to each other. So, these two poses are enough to create a simple walk cycle, and by modifying just those two poses, you are able to create extremely different walk types. In practice, you need only a few simple copy-paste operations to convert this into a walk. First, you copy the initial pose into the pose buffer. And then, mirror copy the pose to the center of the walk cycle. We now copy the pose once more, to the end of the cycle. Finally, the passing point is mirror copied from the first quarter of the cycle to the third quarter. And that is basically all what you need to do. Okay, let's now check the structure of our result. So, the animation starts with a contact point. Then, at about 25% of the animation, we pass the first passing point. At 50% we find the mirrored contact point. At 75% there is the mirrored passing point. And finally, at the end, we find the same pose as at the beginning. And here, is our walk cycle in action. However when you continue working for a while, And after you have added more and more intermediate keyframes, then it might become a bit tedious to propagate your changes to the right places along the timeline. Because of this, we have created the Sparkles Walk Cycle tool. This add-on does all the copy and mirror magic automatically. So, here is the tool in action and it is very simple to use. You define the start frame of your walk and the center frame where half of the walk has passed, this is the copy range. And finally you define the first target frame to where the copy range shall be copied. So in this example the frames 0 to 29 will be copied to the frames 30 to 59. When we set the add start frame option, then actually the final walk cycle will always begin with a keyframe. Furthermore, the start frame will now contain keyframes for each bone which is involved in the walk cycle. When we set the add end frame option, this ensures that the walk runs smooth, that is, the start frame and the end frame will match, thus a perfect walk cycle is generated. The replace option cleans up the copy range before the copy is done, thus any leftover keyframes get removed. This means, you do not need to do any manual cleanup. Just keep the garbage at its place. It will be removed automatically. And finally, X mirror. When this option is enabled, then all keyframed poses will also be X mirror copied into the copy range. Once you have set up the numbers, then, as soon as you have made a change in the first half of your walk, just press the copy button, and all the needed transformations are done in a snap. And of course you can add more changes as you like, and you can add as many keyframes as you need, whenever you press the copy button your walk cycle gets updated. The Sparkles Walk Cycle add-on is shipped with Avastar 1.1, and it is already available in Avastar's release candidate 3. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.